So it's been a long-standing question as well as an argument on who is best girl in ReZero. Some say it's Amelia, while some say it's Rim. At least this is the main two that are argued over. It's Rim, by the way, even though I'm also a fan of her sister Rom. But that's besides the point. All of this brings one question to life. Who exactly is Rim? Not too long ago, we received the director's cut of episode 13 of ReZero, which got me really excited since I've been patiently waiting for something to come out with season 2 being delayed for reasons that remain unnamed. Where us light novel readers, this is originally where we thought season 1 would end is with everyone hanging on by one finger dangling over Hell's Pit. And let me explain why. Episode 13 actually displays the interlude of the ninth light novel. This interlude doesn't really seem like anything new via the anime up until it reached the end which would make your heart stop for a second when you realized what actually happened. This episode shows us a long lasting carriage ride after defeating the white whale. On the way back into the village you hear Amelia say something that seems really out of character to Subaru. That question being, who is Rem? Man, the rain starting where I'm at is just building off the suspense right now. It's making it really hard for me to talk about this because we all know Best Girl is Rem. I'll try to keep it fairly vague for the sake of the anime only people out there, but we all remember what happens if the white whale kills you, right? Your existence is more or less wiped off the face of the earth with no one to remember you except for our tortured hero Subaru. So what exactly happened in the other carriage ride with the white whale being dead? Everything should be fine, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. You see, on the way back to deliver the corpse of the dead whale, everyone on the carriage ride ran into some issues. These issues being that they ran into a few of Betelgeese's cult friends. These two archbishops being greed and gluttony. Turns out the white whale was very close to these sadistic cult assholes, being more or less their pet. And as you can imagine, they weren't too happy finding out their buddy got destroyed. Rim being the best girl we all know her to be, obviously isn't too fond of the seven deadly sins, so she jumped in to fight to protect everyone being the devil angel that she is. However, she's not the only one that attempted to fight. Krush also jumped into the fight to lend assistance. This being said, neither of them were very successful in fending off these self-righteous morons. Krush lost her arm in this battle and therefore left Rim being the last one in play. As Rim turned into demon form and was about to go down, Rim poured her heart out to the enemy about Subaru on her way to the ground, telling them, I hope when Subaru finds out that I'm gone, it sends ripples down his spine. If that's not enough to make us Rim lovers want to cry, I'm not quite finished. If you're predicting that I'm going to tell you Rim is dead, that's not quite the case. Because in fact, she is still alive, just in a really, really deep sleep right now. You see, what happened is when Best Girl Rim was fighting these pricks from hell, Gluttony put a spell on her called the Sleeping Beauty Syndrome, meaning that she's not dead but at the same time she can't wake up. So there is a sigh of relief knowing Rim is still alive. However, to our dismay for the anime, I am sorry to say that we will not be seeing a lot of her. Better get used to almost Best Girl Amelia and the red-haired twin Rom. While we know Rim is still alive thanks to the anime god Haruhi, the reason for us not seeing her is Sleeping Beauty Syndrome also erases your existence from the minds of everyone you've come in contact with. It's also worth mentioning that if you're a fan of Cruz, you don't need to worry much because she's got it a lot better than Rim did. Other than the fact of having her mind wiped with no memories left, she did manage to get her arm back, so she's fine. However, you know how this industry works as well as I do. The best girl is not fine, and we won't be seeing her most likely for the majority of the second season. And if you're thinking about Subaru resetting himself to save Rim like all of us would, I know I can't be the only one thinking that, he did indeed try to end his life to save the girl that we all know is best for him, even though it may only be in my heart. However, when he tries to end his life again, he realizes that his last respawn point is right at the moment of our sleeping beauty. And if he did manage to somehow succeed in going back, that would send him back into the first season right before the White Whale. There's also some lore in the background of season 1 before any of this occurred. You remember when Rom was giving a letter to Amelia in the mansion, and it was supposed to be from Rem. However, if you recall, the letter was blank, meaning that even before the White Whale incident, Rem's existence was already dissipating. Kinda suspicious, don't you think? What are all of your guys' thoughts on Sleeping Rem? I know after reading the light novel and seeing the anime as well, it broke my heart. Do you think something magical may happen and Rem will appear again, or do you think she's down for the count? Let me know in the comments. Also, who you think Best Girl is so we can argue, because I will fight you. Now for anyone curious for more details, I'm going to break down the Season 2 trailer we got before the second OVA was released. 
To start off, we get Subaru walking towards the Switch drinking tea, and a lot of people were left thinking this was Satella, as she closely resembles Amelia. As there have been a few videos out that describe the meaning behind this, I'm going to briefly cover it again for anyone that may have missed it. This witch is in fact not Satella, rather, she is the Witch of Greed. You remember how earlier I went over the Archbishop that took away our love? Well, this is the person who that prick works for. We see Subaru walking up to the Witch of Greed with that oh-so-familiar pissed-off face of his, but around him are also oh-so-familiar faces that are laying in a cesspool of death. Except, for no one sees Rim, and earlier in the video, I more or less explained why that is. For all of our almost best girl Amelia fans out there, season 2 is going to leave you extremely excited, as well as people who are fans of Rem's sister Rom. And believe me, Rom is almost my best girl despite the fact of me putting Rem there. Yes, I did have to say that. But back to the subject at hand. Without saying too much, I will say that all of these familiar people may not actually be dead. Matter of fact, the scene is more or less just the witch messing with Subaru. Yet again, we get to witness his agonizing suffering. One question I will try to answer for you real quick without getting into spoiler territory is, will Season 2 live up to the hype of ReZero Season 1? Well, with Season 2 covering the fourth arc of the Light novel for all of you anime-only people out there, I can say that some events in the upcoming season may end up pissing you off. However, I do encourage you to keep watching as it is still extremely entertaining and fascinating. At least to me, and hopefully to you all as well, because ReZero is honestly just absolutely fucking fantastic.